we are talking 14 storage units built to the brim of materials. Photographs in the hall, photographs on tour, tour programs, tour posters, instruments, um, important documents that relate to the hall's history, anything and everything that you could possibly think that someone would keep from a music venue is in this collection. When I go through stuff in our larger collection, I just think about the impacts on jazz history as a whole and like, are we missing these pieces in jazz history because this hasn't been released out into the world yet? We hear so many stories from culture bearers about, oh, there was this person that used to perform here and this person. And then when you ask, like, well, what did that person look like? Or, like, tell me more about them. It's hard to capture an individual when you don't have anything to show someone or you don't have these, like, memories to connect anymore because so many people lost photos, they lost recordings, they lost everything. But now when you go through this collection and, and as I'm discovering more and more as we make everything in a state that can be released to the public, um, I'm discovering that these are all the things that I've been wanting for years just to, to learn about these people and to connect to our culture bearer stories. So on a New Orleans level, it, it bridges the gap with those connections. <laughs>